Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Platter. Today we will compare symmetric cryptography with asymmetric cryptography. If you want to know about these topics in depth, there are different videos where we discuss about symmetric and asymmetric, how it works and what are the advantages. So you can check the check those out as well. I will link them in the description box. First aspect of comparison is key types. Symmetric cryptography utilizes a single secret key known as the symmetric key for both encryption and decryption. Asymmetric cryptography relies on a pair of keys, a public key for encryption and a private key for decryption and digital signatures. Next aspect of comparison. Next aspect of comparison is key distribution. In the symmetric one, key distribution can be challenging as both parties must securely exchange and maintain the same secret key. Like we said, it uses only a single secret key for both decryption and encryption. In asymmetric cryptography, the public key which is used for encryption can be freely distributed. This simplifies the key exchange while the private key must be closely guarded. Next aspect of comparison is computational complexity. In symmetric one, it is generally faster for both encryption and decryption, making it suitable for encrypting and decrypting large data sets. Asymmetric one is lower compared to the symmetric one due to complex mathematical operations, especially for encrypting or decrypting large data. Next aspect of comparison is security. Symmetric cryptography requires robust key management because a compromise of the key compromises all data. Security relies heavily on key protection. Asymmetric cryptography offers stronger security as the private key is kept secret, making it resistant to unauthorized decryption even if the public key is known. Next aspect of comparison is use cases. Symmetric cryptography Cryptography is typically used where secure key distribution is feasible and maintained, such as securing data at rest and data in transit. Asymmetric cryptography is commonly used for secure key exchange. Example, Diffie-Hellman. It's also used in digital signatures like verifying message authenticity and it can be used for secure communication between parties that have not previously exchanged keys. Let's go to the next aspect, examples. Symmetric examples include AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, DES, Data Encryption Standard, Triple DES, and then asymmetric examples include RSA, ECC, Elliptic Curve Cryptography, and also algorithms used in HTTPS, SSH, and digital signatures. Next aspect of comparison is key generation. In symmetric, keys are generated and distributed manually or using key exchange protocols. In asymmetric cryptography, keys are generated using mathematical algorithms, often with with user specific public keys. Next aspect of comparison is speed of encryption or decryption. Symmetric is fast and efficient due to the simplicity of using a single key. Asymmetric cryptography is slower due to complex mathematical operations, especially for large data sets. Next aspect of comparison is confidentiality versus authentication. Symmetric cryptography is primarily used for data confidentiality and may not provide strong authentication. Asymmetric cryptography offers strong authentication and data confidentiality. Let's go to the next comparison. Size of keys. In asymmetric, keys are relatively short, typically 128 to 256 bits. In asymmetric cryptography, keys are longer, typically 2048 bits or more for strong security. Next aspect of comparison is computational resources. Symmetric cryptography requires less computational power, making it suitable for resource 
constrained devices. Asymmetric cryptography demands more computational resources, which may not be suitable for all devices. Next aspect of comparison is examples of protocols or applications. Symmetric cryptography is used in protocols like TLS, SSL, VPNs, and disk encryption. Disk encryption examples include BitLocker and FileVault. Asymmetric cryptography is applied in HTTPS, SSH, PGP, GPG, digital signatures, and secure emails, like for example, SMIME. So this is the comparison between symmetric and asymmetric cryptography. In summary, symmetric cryptography relies on a single secret key for encryption and decryption, whereas asymmetric cryptography uses key pairs with distinct public and private keys. The choice between them depends on specific security requirements and use cases, with symmetric cryptography favored for efficiency and symmetric key distribution while asymmetric cryptography provides strong security and supports key exchange, digital signatures and secure communication between unfamiliar parties. So that's it for today guys. Hope this video helped you differentiate between symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. That will help us a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video with another topic. Until then, bye-bye.